Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best frame rate possible on the Black Ops 4 beta. This actually involves lowering the settings even further than you can in game, so we're going to be adjusting the configuration files within where you saved your game. So first what you guys want to do is go to the graphic settings and lower everything except your resolution. You can keep it at your monitor's resolution. You should lower it if you need to get some extra frame rate, but you should always try to have it at the max. So vsync off, you can change your menu frame rate limit if you want, but I recommend keeping it at 60. There's my graphics card right there, the GTX 1060 6GB. And as you guys can see, my texture quality is lower than you can set it because I changed my config file. Set it to the lowest you can right now in the menu. And set like the texture filtering quality low, mono quality, screen space reflections off, shadow quality down all the way, dynamic shadows, turn that to off. It always switches to all for some reason, so I always have to turn it off. And set anti-aliasing to off, ambient occlusion quality off, motion blur off, motion quality low. Put sub subsurface scattering to off, and then turn down order independent transparency all the way. So what you guys want to do is go to where you guys saved the game for Black Ops 4. So I saved it in my secondary drive, so I saved it in Battle.net folder in Black Ops 4. And just click right there. Now find the Players folder right there and double click. Now find the config file. You're going to have to open it with the notepad, so right click, go open with and choose notepad. So scroll down all the way in here until you find something that is called graphics and we're going to start changing stuff from right there. So keep scrolling down and then you can see graphics right there up at the top I'm highlighting it right now. So you guys want to copy down the settings I have right here. So right here it says lower numbers are higher quality so you want to put it at the highest number which is 32 for mesh quality. And then you want to change your texture filter to the number I have right there. And then set the texture quality. And set that to 15. And then next you want to change the uh, number of MIPS to drop on reflections to 16. And then after that you change the drop on sun shadows to 1. And then on force lowest nips, you want to set that to zero. And then disable dynamic light shadows zero. Disable dynamic sun shadows zero. Particles shadow support zero. And then set both of these to 128, which is the lowest. And then next, you want to go to shadow filtering and set it to zero. Next, enable order independent transparency. Make sure that's on zero. Then max, maximum number of overlapping transparency layers, set that to 8, which is the lowest. And SSAO technique disabled. Set anti-aliasing to none. And then motion blur off. And set motion blur quality to low. And then set subsurface scattering to 0. And set the back buffer count to 2. And the HDR display, you don't have to touch and then SSR change it to zero and then on enable view model self shadowing set it to off and then dedicated player shadow also set that to off and then after that you're all done so I'm actually gonna scroll up so you guys can copy down the settings just to make sure if you missed any make sure it's the same as I have right here and I'll also scroll down in a second so you guys can see the bottom ones. After you're all done, make sure to hit X and then click Save. And then you want to go right click on Config and go to Properties and select Read Only and hit Apply. And then hit OK. Then you can close out of that. Thanks for watching my tutorial, guys. If this helped you out at all, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to tell me what setup you have below and what FPS you're getting before and after this. And hope you guys enjoy the Black Ops 4 beta. Thanks for watching, guys.